the Arabic word for orbit is felek, rotation, orbit. Okay? It doesn't mean swimming uh, only. Okay? Yisbahun, uh, yisbahun is swimming, not felek. Felek is not translated. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you that's a lie. Let me show you. Go to the Arabic translations. Go. Go. There is 50 different translations. None of them miss out the fact that it orbits. Okay? No, it's talking about the moon and the sun. What are you talking about, Zilong? It's referring to the sun and the moon. Why is this guy leaving it out of his translation? <clears throat> look, he, look at what Mikey typed. These are the type of lies that really annoy me. If you go to look at any translation of this verse, Holy Quran chapter 21 verse 33, look what he posted. He posted it without orbit. Because he knew that if he put orbit, yes, he is lying. That's a lie. Show me where he got that uh, translation from. Give me a reference, please. I want to know who wrote that translation. Mike's free. All right, thank you very much. Well, you say you don't want your religion. Uh, just uh, wait, please. Don't take the mic. Please don't take the mic without my permission. Mr. Islam, choose a topic, please. You know, I don't want you to talk to people in the room. They are not the one who would debate you. All right? It's me and you. And let us uh, exchange the mic between us so we can have a nice conversation together peacefully and nicely. Uh, choose the topic. Which verse you want to talk about first? Because you mentioned more than one. Which one you want to talk about? You want to talk about chapter 21, verse number 33? All right. The verse, you said it doesn't say swim. It says orbit. Right? Well, the word in Arabic is swim. However, there is many Islamic translation, and you speak Arabic, I, don't, I speak Arabic, so we do not need the translation anyway. The word yasbah is swimming, and you know that. So you can play the game of it's a swimming or not with someone else. However, this is not the, the issue. The verse you choose for us is a huge mistake, because simply it says that Allah, he created the night. Allah created the night and the day. First of all, the night is not to be created because simply the night is nothing but the absence of light. When there is no light, dark is exist. The night is the darkness. You do not need to create darkness. It exists. So this is number one mistake. Number two. He created the day and the night, and the sun and the moon. So the day is not the light, even though present the time of the, of the light. So the day is an object, the night is an object, the sun is an object, the moon is an object, and all of them, they, I will go with you. They are, or, they are going in an orbit. According to your prophet, according to your Quran, the moon and the sun and the day and the night they are going in orbit guys is that true is the is the night and the day they are going in any orbit that's false the day and the night they happen because the earth is going around itself the day and the night they are not moving anywhere there's no orbit for the day and there's no orbit for the night so simply the choice the verse of your choice is presenting for us a huge mistake in the quran I would like to hear you. Am I heard people in the room? Am I heard? All right. So I'd like to hear from you, please. And please watch my text. Uh, JJ, put your hand down. And please, guys, nobody put his hand up until I finish with Mr. Islam. Mean peace. The mic is yours, Mr. Islam. The sun, the moon, the day and the night, they are moving in an orbit. That's mean the day and the night they are objects and they are moving and they are physical objects like the sun and the moon. It's a huge mistake in the Quran. Your answer, please. <clears throat> First of all, 
First of all, I want to make an agreement with you. Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Can, can someone type one? Okay. First of all, Christian Prince, you have an issue with listening or reading. When I type in the, in the text, I want to have a dialogue with you. I don't want you just to keep blabbering on mic nonsense. I want us to communicate. So when I type things on text, I'd like you to respond to them, not just ignore them. And I'd like to do the same with you. If you want to type anything while I'm talking, I'd like to respond to it. We can have a dialogue. But you see, you were ignoring what I was saying, and you, you, you weren't listening. You, I said, Holy Quran, chapter 21, verse 30. Let's start with Holy Quran, chapter 1, 21, verse 30. That's the first verse I brought up. Then I brought up 21, 33. But, but no, no problem. We can start with Okay, now I have a challenge for the room, people in the room. Okay, I'm going to post something in the room, and this is in Arabic. Falak. This is the Arabic word used in the verse. Falakin yisbahun. I want everyone in the room, English or Arabic, if they want to check, to copy paste this verse into Google Translate, and tell me what you receive. What what does it, what do you get? Uh, how many people are in this room? Forty-seven people. Let's see if, if I'm a liar. Let's see who's the liar now on translating the verse. Put the put copy paste this verse into Google Translate and and type translate, and you will see the result. Okay. Um, is Google translating seventh century Arabic? See now, uh, so now they they know the truth. Okay, so now they're like, oh, probably they spoke a different language back then, right? Different language, Mikey, right? Different language, different language, right? That's what your that's your argument. That's your argument, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Google Translate doesn't correct uh, doesn't translate correctly because now you've lost the argument. If anybody copies this word, they will find that it will ha it will ha give them the result of orbit, because felek is orbit. Okay. Oh my goodness, you know, this is this is quite funny. Let me let me read the Arabic verse. Wait. Let me see the argument. He's trying to say that the verse claims that the the, the wait, let me see. Just a sec. Twenty one. I wanna see all the translations. Okay. Holy Quran chapter twenty one verse thirty three. Okay, so in this verse it says, And it is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. All heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming. So, you know, look at, look at the deceit in, uh, you know, that, that, that he comes with. He's claiming that the verse is talking about the, sun, the night and day orbiting. But the verse is talking about the sun and the moon orbiting. It's, the verse never says anything about, about the night and day orbiting. It is he who, had cre who has created night and day, sun and the moon. If a phenomenon happens, if for example you create shade, you can create shade as a human. If you put, if you put a, 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 a paper in front of the sun, you have created a shade. You have caused a shade to come into being. Okay, by, by blocking sunlight. So you have intended shade upon a certain area. That's why you set up a roof to shade yourself from this from the from the rain. So if you create that shade, that protection, that shelter, that that that's basically your argument would be like, Oh, since you you, you know, Islam means peace created shade. Look how absurd that is. That's your argument. That's your argument. Okay? I'm trying to give you an example of shade uh, of your argument. Darkness is the absence of light. I know, but it, it is create. It is a caused into being phenomenon. It can be caused to happen. It can be caused to happen. Darkness can be caused to happen. Okay. So his argument is that night is an object. Uh, you know that the Quran treats night like an object. It's a phenomenon, not an object. And if and a, and a phenomenon can ha can be created. So your argument is in the bin, okay? And you still have not addressed why all the translations say that the uh, that the sun was orbiting, 
Okay, so we know now we now know that in science that the sun orbits around the galaxy. Now, as you can see here in the verse, it doesn't necessarily say that the sun orbits the earth. Okay, it just says the sun and the moon are in orbit. It doesn't specify on about which uh, reference point. We know in science that s the sun orbits around the galaxy and the moon orbits around the earth. I want to hear a reply. Mike's free. All right, thank you very much. You know, the, the, the strange, you are the one who said the word uh, folk or felak doesn't mean swimming. When you translate in English, you are the one who said the word is swimming. Did you notice, guys? He is the one who said it, swim, not me. So he refused it, then he said it. No, you did. We are recording, by the way. The debate is recorded, and people will hear it. All right? Just to let you know. No, no, I cannot stop right now. You will see it later in, in YouTube, and everybody will laugh. You are the one who said it's swimming, not me. Secondly, uh, the verse says, and as long as you are saying all the translation, it's mean you accept translation. Correct, guys? He is saying all translations. The translation says, each, kullun, each one of them go and swim in a course. Each, all of them which mean the day and the night, not the moon and the sun alone. If it is the sun and the moon, you don't use the word kul, because in Arabic, you do not use uh, kul for, for, for two. It has to be many, more than three at least, three and more. So the verse is in front of you. This is a translation. This is a translation in front of your eyes, and this is the Islamic website. Everybody can open it and can see. So according to Islam, all of them, all of them, the night, the day, the moon, the sun, they are swimming. And this is proof that Islam is a false religion. Why? Because the day and the night, they are not moving anywhere. However, as long as you are the one who came with this story, then we have to go and see what your prophet said about it so we can have a better understanding. Guys, if there is anything wrong with showing Muslims what their prophet he said about it, a man, he came to Muhammad, and he said to him, actually, Muhammad, he said to a man, not a man came to Muhammad, just to be more accurate. Muhammad, he said to a man, do you know where the sun goes? Do you know where the sun goes? The man, he said, Prophet, you know better. The Prophet of Allah and his and Allah know better. So the guy, he said, I do not know. You know better. You are the Prophet. Then Muhammad, he said, that the sun goes every day, travel, i.e., the suns travel every day. And this sun goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And this is, I'm going to post the hadith in front of everybody so people they can read and they don't say I'm making things up. So according to Muhammad, the sun is moving and this is explaining where the sun goes. Remember, he's talking about the sun in the sunset time. The prophet asked me at the sunset, when he asked him about the sun, at the sunset, it was a sunset time. And the prophet is asking him in the sunset time, do you know where the sun goes? The man, he said, I do not know, prophet, you know better. The prophet, he said, the sun goes, i.e. travel till it prostrate itself under the, underneath the throne and take a permission to raise again and it is permitted so the sun every day according to Muhammad goes from point A to point B and then in point B that is the throne of Allah and is going to ask Allah for permission to go up again and then Allah will grant the permission and the sun will raise again Obviously, that's a very huge mistake. Do we agree, people? Because according to Muhammad, the sun is going around or moving, not the earth going around itself. And the one who is coming with this volunteer explanation is Muhammad himself. 
So Muslims, they can play all the games and what, what, what they will say about their prophet saying this. They will say Muhammad is an ignorant. They will say Muhammad, he is wrong. They will say Muhammad is making up a lie. What they will say? Oh, don't tell me you know the Quran and you know the meaning better than your prophet. Because when your prophet said the sun goes, trouble. It means the sun goes and move from A to B. This is number one. So I, I, I did not answer you about this topic, actually. The one who answered you is your prophet himself. All right? I'm not the one really who answered you. Your prophet is the one who gave you the answer. I will give the, the hadith one more time. And actually, I will give the link so people will not say, uh, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They will not say, I'm making things up. Here we go. This is the official Islamic link. Everybody can go and open it and read it. Uh, the sun and the moon and the day and the night, they are going, let us say, in orbit, as he said first time. Then he said, swim second time. That means Muhammad not only considered the sun and the, the moon is moving, and he's talking here about what? About the day and the night. You need to notice why Muhammad is connecting the day, the night, the sun, the moon. What is the connection? Simply Muhammad is just talking about the day and the night. This is the connection between them. Muhammad is saying to you that the moon is going around and the sun is going around and the day is going around and the night is going around and this is why we see the day, the sun, the night, the moon. Because, because they are swimming. And then the sun is going to ask Allah for permission to raise again. Notice here, he did not say the earth will ask Allah permission to go around itself so we can see the sun again. No. The sun is going to be asking the question, can I raise again? Which means he considered the sun raising for real physically and the sun sitting down for real physically. Which means the sun is going, just I gave you the mic, I did not take it from you. You talk as much as you want you are, until you are done. Obviously the truth hurt. And now what you will say, your prophet is lying? So he considered the sun. Okay, we will give a, we will give a time limit. What about two minutes for you, two minutes for me? And you know what, I will cut my words, I will give you the two minutes. All right? You're mine. Please, I want you to consider what I said to you about what your prophet said. Don't, don't jump over it. Is your prophet here mistaken? Is the hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari is wrong? You're mine. Okay. First of all, we were discussing the Quran because the Quran is deemed to be the highest form of scripture in Islam. It is de deemed to be the word of the Almighty Himself. Okay, now, Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, was a prophet of the Almighty and a messenger of God. Now, a lot of the hadiths, okay, the hadiths, many of the hadiths are, you know, graded, whether they're sahih, you know, ba'if. You know, a lot of them are dismissed by many Muslims. So, there's a, an entire science in the Hadith world of, of, you know, noting if this Hadith is accepted or not. So, as a Muslim, the Muslims, we do take from the Hadith, but we don't take all Hadith. If the Hadith contradicts the Quran, it is not taken as, as, as the Word of God. Because the hadith at the end of the day is the word of Muhammad. It is the recorded narrations of the Prophet. And many of the hadith are inaccurate. There's an entire science behind the hadith. Um, no, um, Sahih Bukhari usually are not dismissed. But there are some, there are some hadiths in Sahih al-Bukhari that are dismissed, Salos. They are, yes, Salos. No, I'm not saying that. Salos, are you a scholar? Are you a scholar? No, you don't know. So the scholars in Islam, they don't take all the hadith. And they, and they especially do not take a hadith that goes against... Uh, no, but I know scholars and they've told me that there's an entire science in accepting or denying hadith. If the hadiths contradict the Quran, 
if the hadiths contradict the Quran, they're not taken. Number one. Number two, if the hadiths, if the hadiths have a weak narration, set of narration, a link, you know, because the hadiths are recorded with a historical narrative, uh, has a chain of narration, you know, an entire history behind how it was written, so and how it was passed down. Is this hadith mutawatir? Even a mutawatir hadith, if it goes against the Quran, is still sometimes deemed to be uh, da'if. Potter explained, you didn't know that, did you? So the word of God is declared to be higher than the word of man in the Quran. No, that is the method. That The Quran is the number one text. The Quran goes beyond the hadith. So now we're discussing the Quran, which is the word of God in Islam. Why would you go to the word? The hadith is the word of a man. Yes, Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, is the word of man. Is a man. He's a prophet of God. What he said was sometimes from God. I'm not saying that all his, uh, what he said was, was just uh, anything, you know. Well, you know. A lot of what he said was wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he did say some things uh, that were recorded. You know, he, everything that he said was recorded because people were around him were trying to take all the knowledge from him. Anyways, Mike's free. All right, thank you very much. Please watch the text because we are going to inform you about the time. Guys, what he said to us, proving to us that this hadith is a disaster, this is why he is saying. It, if, it, if it is contradict the Quran, we reject it. So he rejected, which means the hadith is very clear. He just said the hadith is very clear. It says the sun is the one is moving from place to place. That's why he's saying mostly it's weak. I have a surprise for you. This is a very strong hadith. Open the link and see. So don't play the, the game of strong and weak with me again. Everybody in the room, open the link. Does it say they are down? Sahih. The grade of the hadith is Sahih. What is the grade? Sahih. It is Sahih in Al-Bukhari. It's Sahih in al Tirmidhi. It is Sahih in everywhere. So here we go. The game of weak and strong finito is gone. It doesn't work. Secondly, you say it. If it is contradict the Quran, we reject it. Where it's contradict the Quran? The Quran is saying the sun, the moon, the day, the night, they move. It doesn't contradict the Quran. So again, you're trying to fabricate things that not exist. Where the Quran it says that the sun is not moving from point A to point B. Where is the contradiction? So the hadith fit perfectly with the Quran. And as long as the hadith is strong, approved by Muslims, so who are you to say I rejected? Unless you want to say to me, Muhammad was not a person to trust. He say things, he's just a human. You know, he come up with false stories. If, you, if this is the case, no, 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 no. Everybody heard you a second ago, you were denying this hadith. Correct, guys? You did not say you have a wrong, now you change your, your, your now you change your mind, you start talking about interpretation. <laughs> You did not deny the hadith. You said it must be weak or rejected. You said it's, it contradicts the Quran, we reject it. And now we showed you that the hadith is strong, so you cannot reject it. So what you will say? But you are the one who deny it. You are the one who don't want it. You are the one who said it's weak. So now the hadith is very strong. So what is the solution? It's mean Muhammad is saying the sun goes every day. Remember, guys, the hadith says, speaking about what? Do you know where the sun goes? Where the sun goes? He's talking about the sun goes. So he's describing the movement of the sun from a place to place. And then he says in the book of Atumuzi, that the sun rays from the sitting place
Like, what are you talking about? There is a place. There is a sitting place for the sun, and there is a, a, a raising place for the sun. And that is the throne of Allah, and the sun is moving every day from point A to point B. I'm not changing subject. I'm not changing topic. We are talking about how the day and the night happen in Islam. The day is considered to be an object. The night is an object. The sun is an object, and the, the moon is an object. All of them, they move and they swim from point A to point B. All of them, not only, not two, not one, all of them. Actually, if you go to Tafsir Ibn Abbas, it says each one of them, each one of them was what? The sun, the day, the moon, the day, the night. Each one of them float. Same in the Jalalain, same in the Qurtubi. You choose it. All of them, they are saying the same. And the funny, this was his choice. I'm not even the one who chose this verse to talk about it, remember. He is the one who chose this one to talk about it. It's not me. Uh, I will give you the mic because I believe my time is up. So Islam mean peace. The first, the first claim is demolished, and your prophet he refute you, prove to you that Islam is false religion, and he's saying to us the sun moved from point A to point B, and this is a very strong hadith, and you cannot say I don't accept it. The mic is yours. First of all, I was talking in general about the hadith. Number one, I said that you changed the subject because you went to a lower form of scripture. Hadith is considered to be a lesser form of scripture than the Quran. In Islam, the Quran is number one. Then it goes to the hadith. You are going to a lower form of scripture to debate a higher form of scripture. This is, a, uh, this is an attempt to bend the truth from your perspective why are we going to a lower form of scripture if we have a higher form of scripture in our hands and I've explained you now just like you like changing the subject why don't you explain to me some of the scientific errors in the Bible you know we know that in the Bible it is filled with hundreds of scientific errors let's talk about Proverbs 6 6 to 8 it says that ants have no commander okay no ruler and no overseer we know that ants do have a queen in revelations 12 1 to 9 it says that the dragon will enter heaven and wage war with the angels you know it sounds like a fairy tale from the magic world look at the judge you know look at judges 9 70 to 16 trees voted for their own king look at leviticus all flying insects walk on all four Insects don't have four legs, they have six. Look at, you know, it goes on and on and on. You know, the scientific errors in the Bible is just unbelievable. So, you know, just like you like changing the subject, I can also do the same thing. All right? But I'm telling you that the Quran has many scientific miracles. You haven't addressed why the Quran is claiming that the sun orbits, uh, you know? We now know in science that the sun orbits. You still have not addressed that. You still have not addressed the word felek. You know? I never said that felek meant orbit. I said that yesbah is orbit. I know that felek means... Uh, sorry, I said that felek means swimming. Okay? And you can cut, you can edit a lot of things out to make it... Uh, to make it... to make me seem like I've done mistakes. You know, at the end of the day, you're the one who's editing this whole video or whatever, this recording. But I bet you that you cannot post this entire recording without editing it. I bet you, I'll bet you anything that when this guy, he's going to edit everything. Okay, he's going to change everything. Because if he posts the entire thing, he's going to get owned. You know? You still haven't addressed Holy Quran chapter 21 verse 30 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the heavens, the Big Bang. 
in the Quran that the entire heavens and the earth were a joint entity and he separated them, split them asunder. Mike's free. You see, please, you are exceeding your time. You are speaking for four minutes and you are not uh, keeping your promise. You see, just to show you how Muslims, they run away always. And, you know, I promise I will post all this recording with none editing. I promise. And I challenge you to come to me later, says I cut something. It's a challenge. Now, guys, he said you are going to a lower source against the higher source. So if the lower source is not allowed anyway, is not exist anyway, is not needed anyway, so why Muhammad is telling us this story? And if it's not needed, why Muslims are recording it? Why you don't stay with the Quran and that said there is no need for what Muhammad said? Why Muslim they say to us the source of Islam is not only the Quran, it is Hadith and Quran. Suddenly now it's a lower source and higher source. You see the double standard of the Muslims? The Quran is an empty book. So when we what we are doing, what our crime now, our crime, we quote it for them what their prophet said, not someone said, not the grocery store said. The prophet explained the verse. He's, up, he's upset. First, he start to play in the game that this is weak, this is strong. It doesn't work. We show him this is strong. So now he had to come. Oh, why you are going to this? Then he, he run away, right away, he jumped to speak about errors in the Bible. Like as an example, he mentioned that the ants have no leaders. You see, because you are ignorant. According to science, the queen is not a queen like us. She don't give orders. You see the ignorant of Muslims? The queens, she don't give orders. Those are not soldiers who follow orders. They are programmed. Ants are programmed insects, which means each one of them programmed to do something. They do not receive orders. So the fool is the one who told you the queen is giving order. But who wonder, like, why not? If your prophet, he told you there's an ant in the Quran who can hear the prophet Solomon and she told her ants brothers to hide. Otherwise, Solomon will crush you. When all of us, we know that ants, they do not hear. They are dumb. They are deaf. They don't talk. And what is killing me until now, how she know the name of Solomon? Like, okay, you know what? The ant, somehow she was able to tell her friends, hide. All right? But she's telling him, Suleiman is coming. Imagine an ant, she come to our room and say, Christian prince is here. How the end she know my name? So don't talk about the ants. And you mentioned to me other verse saying that this is a miracle. Guys, did he say, did he say he want to speak? I think he want to speak about the Big Bang, right? Just to show you how ignorant the Muslims are, that verse have nothing to do with the Big Bang. The earth and the heaven, they used to be one. The earth and the sky, they used to be one and we separated them. We did what? We separated them. Okay, how you separated them? How you separated them? People in the room, is the earth separated from the heaven? Are we separated from the space? Do you know how tiny is the earth and we are inside the space? We are not only not, it's impossible to be separated. We are not even a dust considered to the size of the universe. How you can separate us from the space? If I go now to the moon, I look at the earth, where I will find the earth? I will find it in the, in the space. <laughs> if I go to Mercury and I look at the moon, where I will find the moon? It's in the space. And where I will find the earth? It's in the space. And where I will find Mercury? It's in the space. We are not separated. Secondly, it says that the earth and the heaven, they used to be one and we separated them, which means there was earth and there was heaven. Is that what the Big Bang says? There was earth and heaven? The mic is yours. <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> yeah, he's telling me that I break the time rules. Anyways, um, l l listen. Listen, uh, Christian Prince, you know, this is not going to work, you know. The, the verse is very clear, Holy Quran, chapter 21, verse 30. 
do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were 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 a joint entity in the past in the past we know that everything in the universe was a joint entity that's the entire definition of the big bang and we split them asunder how did muhammad a 7th century arab talk about the past why is he talking about a past event of where the celestial heavens and the earth were a joint entity and were split asunder what is he talking about how does he know this these are questions that come into being but uh, when we look at the Bible we see a lot of funny things and let me show you some <laughs> let me show you something really funny james 5 3 your gold and silver are corroded their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire you have hoarded wealth in the last days we know that gold and silver do not corrode you know it's just unbelievable. Genesis 1.16 God Almighty created two lamps, the sun and the moon, each giving an independent light to earth. <laughs> the, the Hebrew says two lamps, you know. What is that? You know, we know that the moon does not have... <laughs> We know <laughs> we know that the moon does not have its own light, man. It does not. It, a lamp is its own source of light. Okay. <laughs> How can the moon give light? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay, wait, wait. Let's go. It seems like they're still not convinced. Daniel 4, 10, 11. The tree grew large and strong, and its top touched the sky. It was visible to the ends of the earth. It was visible to the ends of the earth. Decla Daniel 4, 10 to 11 declares the earth is flat. What are you talking about, man? You're, you're coming here challenging the Quran, man. The Quran will eat you alive, man. What you talking about, man? What are you talking about? That was a vision, right? <laughs> man. Mike. You see, uh, what I say, you're acting like a kid. All those things you say, we can refute them easy. This is why you are quoting one after one because you are copy-paste. You see, the challenge is, can you take one topic at a time? We give you the mic, you start saying, what about the, the Bible says that? What about, you see, this is what you said is ex extremely stupid because I can show you from the Quran the same you said about the moonlight. Just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran. Secondly, when the when the Bible says the moon has a light, yes, it does have a light. That is a reflection light. But the funny in the Quran, your God Allah described the stars as lambs who he will shoot the Satan with. <laughs> how you can shoot Satan with a star? Satan he lives in the earth, and yet you are going to shoot him with a star? How you can destroy Satan by a star without destroying the earth? Should I say ha 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 ha? The star is the, 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 uh, the, the, the defense system of Allah. When Shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah, Shaitan, Allah will spank him with the star. What about Allah says there is seven earth and seven... But I'm not going to do what you do. Let us focus on one. I, I accuse you to be a coward because you are changing topic. I can mention 100 mistakes in the Quran right now before I give you the mic. But then I'm, I, will never, I will never get an answer. Let us focus on one topic and I challenge you. Guys, isn't it him who mentioned this? That the earth and the heaven used to be one and they are separated? They used to be one entity? Thank you very much. Let us focus on it. Be brave. Don't be a coward. Don't change. What shooting star? It says lamps. Shoot, you know, shooting stars are not lamps. Lamps. We decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. Shooting stars are not decoration. And they are not lamps. Now, you are the one who chose this verse. Let us finish it. I'm sure I will give you the microphone. You will not talk about it no more. The heaven and earth were joined together. Guys, does it say the heaven and the earth were joined together? Does it say that? Or I'm making things up? It says that, right? So there was heaven and earth, which means earth is exist, 
and happiness exist. And this is my challenge to you. In the front of the room, which one Allah created first? Listen carefully, people in the room. This Abdul, he will never give me the answer. Which one Allah created first? Earth or the sky? I think my question is very clear, right? Which one Allah created first? Earth or the sky? I want to give you the mic. I will give you two minutes. And we will see. You will jump to the Bible because you are afraid from talking about it. Which one Allah created first? Count my words, people. He will not answer because he don't dare to answer. Earth or the sky? Your mic. Okay, first of all, in, in the Quran, okay, when it says sky, it uses sky for heavens as well. So, you cannot, you cannot basically, so it depends what the context is. It could be talking about the celestial heavens. The same word, samawat, is used for the celestial heavens. The same word for sky is used for the sky of the earth. It's the same word in Arabic. So, samawat is the skies, the heavens. And the sky is so it's the same word text in di in different contexts. Sorry, um, so it could have been referring to the celestial heaven. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to have been talking about, about the, uh, the sky. Yeah, okay, you just wanted to talk about the sky so that you can claim it's a scientific inaccuracy. But nevertheless, you know, like we like you've agreed that and dismissed every single scientific error that I've pointed out. I've pointed out more than ten that you still have not uh, spoken about. You still have not replied to any of the more than ten scientific errors in the Bible. Okay. But nevertheless, I don't like this whole idea of pointing the finger. I think that anyone who looks at a scripture and wants to find mistakes will find mistakes. I think that we have to look at the, you know, we have to look at the essence of the scripture, um, the history of the scripture. We have to judge a scripture on its history. And when we look at the Quran, we know that the Quran was recorded from the mouth of Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him. All the historical references say that the Muhammad is the narrator, um, sorry, that, that the Muhammad spoke the Quranic words and they were recorded from Muhammad's mouth. Okay? So this is what history tells us from the Islamic perspective. But the Christian history says the opposite. The Christian history agrees that the Bible was written more than, by more than 42 different narrators, half of whom never met Jesus, many of whom claim that they're writing their own account of what they think happened to Jesus, including Luke. In Luke 1, 1 to 4, Luke admits that he never met Jesus and that he's just writing what he thinks happened to Jesus. So now it's time, right? But I want to say th something. In Galatians 1, it says very clearly that the gospel of Christ can only be revealed through Jesus Christ. In Galatians 1, it makes this article that o the gospel of Christ can only be from Jesus. So why is it that you've taken the entire Bible as the word of God when we know that it's written by 42 different narrators, half of whom never met Jesus? <laughs> And you will never answer this question. Mike's free. You see, guys, did I ask him a simple question? I repeat it 20 times, and he is the one who says to me, time, time, time. Which one Allah created first, earth or heaven? After all this speech, did he answer? No. And he is the one saying we run away. Secondly, he's trying now to prove to us, changing the whole topic, to speak about the Bible is corrupt. Well, thank you very much. This is additional proof that Islam is a false religion. Why? Because according to Islam, Allah is the one who gave the Isa the gospel, which means this is the book of Allah, not my book. So what you are saying to me that your God Allah was screwed and someone it screwed Allah and changed his book. Well, thank you very much again. That is an additional proof that Allah cannot be God. Because if Allah is God, should protect his book. This is not my book. This is the book of Allah. You see, I have a book. It's called The Deception of Allah. If someone tried to change it, I will sue him. Your God, Allah, cannot do what I can do. He could not protect his book. So you are saying to me, Allah, he's in the book, and you Christians made fun of my God. You changed the book. Thank you very much. That additional proof that Islam is not a bad religion. Additional to this, which one Allah created first? 
earth or heaven, you don't dare to answer because the Quran will show you a contradiction. And this is why you will never answer it. And when you says to me, there's many errors in the Bible. Did you mention one? You know, do you mention 10? And then you want me to answer about the 10 in, in two minutes. Focus in one thing, Abdul. I'm asking you a question. You are the one who mentioned the miracles of the Quran, not me. You are the one who came to our room to challenge us about the miracle of the Quran, not me. So the topic is not even the Bible, but because you are afraid, you are terrified, you are really trying to run. Oh, there's no point for this debate, I'm going to leave. Oh, there's no debate to talk about it. Let us talk about the, 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 the what? Aren't you the one who mentioned this topic? Isn't it this is your topic? Now you don't want to talk about it no more. When we show you that Muhammad is the one who said this and that, you say this is weak, this is, this is not strong. We show you it's strong, now it is not it's a lower hadith, it's an upper hadith. Muslims, they cannot even maintain their own words. Now, I will repeat again my question, and I want people to be my witness. They will never answer. Which one Allah created first, sky or earth? And I want the proof. The mic is yours. We are watching. Don't change the topic. Sky or earth? Be my witness, people. Please don't jump. Mr. Islam, the mic is yours. We are waiting for the answer. Are you searching Google, Islam? Are you trying to search Google where, which one is created first? I understand your mic. Can I be heard? Okay. Listen, man, listen, listen. First of all, when you speak about the Quran in a context of a debate, I need to teach you how to debate. You have to bring a reference. You have to give reference. When you're debating, you give a reference. You give a verse. You don't say, which one, which one, to do? which one, to do, to do? which one, to do? bring a verse what you're talking about, bro. Bring the verse. Bring the verse. Okay? You don't even know how to debate. You don't even know how to debate. You're losing this debate. You haven't spoken about not one single point that I brought up. And I told you that the Quran, when it says sky, it sometimes refers to the celestial heavens. So you have to specify the verse. You have to specify the verse. This isn't a yes or no uh, session. This is a debunt in whichever way I wish to please whichever way I please so listen uh, Christian Prince give the verse and I will answer that you want to discuss okay bring forth the verse that you want to discuss and we can answer it but I'm not gonna be pushed around with a yes or no question because this is a debate I can answer it whichever way I want to just like you've avoided answering any of my questions you haven't answered not one of my questions you want me to answer one of your questions? I will answer it, but if you bring a reference, because I want to see what you're talking about. What is it are you talking about? This is the context of a debate. You have to bring a reference. Okay? So anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to say something. I have to go to university, but I will be back, and I want to continue this debate. I've had, I enjoyed it. I felt that... Um, you haven't addressed any of my points. This is one of the easiest debates I've ever had in my life. Before you run, Islam, I challenge you to answer. Which one Allah created first? Stop playing games. Ask me. Which one my God created first? Sky or earth? I will say the heaven, the sky. What is your answer? You are running away. It will take you not even 10 seconds to say. Which one Allah created first? Either you say the sky, the universe, and then the earth, or you say the opposite. Which one? The mic is yours and stop running. 
as long as this is the easiest, please make it victory before you leave. Which one? If you don't answer, everybody is knowing now that you are terrified to answer. You are saying to me, give me a verse. Give me a verse. This is having to do with verse. In Islam, which one Allah created first? Is it the heaven or the earth? He's out. He's out. He's out. This is the easiest debate, he said. Are you sure? Are you really sure? You see how we expose those liars? You know, and when I say Muslims are like potatoes, you know, I'm not insulting. Honestly, I'm not really insulting. This is why, you know, there's a, there's a song, I believe it's my favorite song, which is, I believe it's the perfect anthem for the Muslims. I don't know if you know the song. It's called Potato, Potato, Potato. Yeah, they're feeling get hurt, but yet they cannot debate us.